This is London calling in the overseas service of the British Broadcasting Corporation. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. battleship, Graf Spee, which has been for many weeks preying upon the trade of the South Atlantic and met her doom. Mother dear, I'm riding you from somewhere in France, hoping this finds you well. We shall fight in France, we shall fight on the seas and oceans, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. of the RAF with the Navy. And Rodney, which did some pretty work with her 16-inch guns. Ah, this is not the end. Uh, it is not even the beginning of the end. Uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. <laughs> but the Japanese high command had declared that a state of war existed with Great Britain and the United States. The German Navy, so proudly built up by that smug strategical genius, the Führer, is slowly but surely being wiped out. Now the Scharnhorst, the 26,000-ton battleship, has gone to the bottom not unusual result of action against the Royal Navy. Led by a powerful British escort, the main body of the surrendered Italian fleet is transferred from Malta to Alexandria. Signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Force. the China Sea for the last large-scale surrender at Hong Kong, where today warships of the Royal Navy ride at anchor in the harbor. Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gareth Major, and uh, th this is uh, a Friday night live stream postponed to Saturday, but also a collaboration with Vance Vegas uh, for our typical whiskey and warships. And so, um, 
hope you're all uh, willing to, to join in as we go along. Uh, let's say hello to Amber Criff, to Jeff Dale, to Mecha Man, and to Sean Whitling. Obviously, down in the description of this live stream is the link to Vaz's channel. Uh, also, the link to Vaz's live stream, I hope. Um, so you can go watch Vaz as well and get his, his side of the story. Um, but yeah, Vaz, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Hey everyone, uh, this is Vaz Vegas here, and um, yeah, it's just me. I'm just a, a gamer, I guess you could say, and uh, currently playing World of Warships Legends, and I just can't put the game down no matter how hard I try. <laughs> it also helps that the Major keeps reeling me back in, too. Oh, that's true, that's true, yeah. He's yeah, enticing me with the, uh, the promise of whiskey talk. <laughs> Oh, if only I can actually send you whiskey, I guess. <laughs> well, that'll be the next step, maybe. <laughs> now, um, ooh, where, do, where, do, where do you want to start, then? Uh, I'm good with anything. Uh, I think I played one match yesterday, and it was the Belfast, so that's uh, what I have on my screen right now. If you wanted to do a, a Tier 6... Well, I've got the Cossack up on my screen, so yeah, I'm happy to oblige. I've just got to make sure I'm just going to put some music on on my stream. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, but yeah, my chat, uh, please just... I think both chats, both sides, g give us heads up in regards to audio. Is is one of us coming through too loud and clear, too too quiet, uh, and uh, we are unmuted. And we have the music is not too loud or too quiet, especially on my stream, I guess you could say. Yeah, let's, uh, let's ready up. Actually, I'll, I'll take the Cossack 38, uh, just for uh, the... Co the just, oh, nah. there you go. Yeah. I've only done two games in it so far. The new one, yeah. Nice and shiny. Yeah. Uh, entirely unannounced. <laughs> yeah, that whole thing is very strange, uh, isn't it? Hmm. It's the timing. Strange. They seem to have just. Um, it, it's the way that even the community managers uh, didn't really seem to know what was going on. And they just kept quiet. Yeah, even they probably just threw their hands up and said, you know what, we're tired of <laughs> you know, come, coming up with excuses and trying to defend things when we just don't, we don't have the answers. Uh, this side Vance, is a little quiet. Well, we should be able to sort that out a little bit. Uh, it's probably best I just to quiet myself down a bit. So that should be okay. Maybe then Vaz won't come through too loud. Or I, I'll come through quieter at least. I'll say hello to Sailing Dutchman in my stream. Hello, sir. How are you today? Thanks for joining. And, you know, I guess there's there's one thing that I, at least I always forget to do, and I know that, that you don't do it very often, but um, I'll say to everyone out there, if you are new here, uh, make sure to hit the, the thumbs up buttons on uh, both of our streams. And if you like what you see, consider uh, hitting the subscribe button, too. That uh, saves me a job. <laughs> <laughs> on, my, on my side, I'll say uh, hello and welcome to NMO's channel. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Okay. I see all the, all the usual suspects in your stream. Very nice. <laughs> the Black Widow wanted me to. Oh, that's nice of them to, to uh, throw me a bone there. I guess you could say. <laughs> Range of the New Orleans, so I might as well open up. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's somebody. Gonna, yeah, there's not going to be much of a New Orleans left shortly. You taught him a lesson. Oh, boy. Oh, what's that? Fletcher. Hey. Learning lesson, folks. Do not go broadside at the beginning of the match and open water in a New Orleans. Yeah, Fletcher's dropping the smoke screen, so I'm not even going to bother engaging. I'm just going to. Too far for my radar. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna. Uh, he, basically, he wants me to shoot, so I get detected, um, and then he can yeah. use his smoke to chip away at me. So I'm just gonna stay quiet. Kind of bait you a bit there. But what that does mean is the Ishashio is. 
got to be on the left side. Okay. Just going off of where the spawn locations of the enemy ships have been. I think that's not um, the FK. Kriv, uh, regarding Cossack 38's uh, rear turret, no. It's got the same angles as the um, as Y turret. So X turret is the same angles as Y turret, unfortunately. So there's really... Apart from just having the extra turret, there's nothing else um, special about Cossack 38. Um, she loses sonar. She gets two kilometers shorter range torpedoes. She loses some um, 40 millimeter, is it Herlikin? Um, uh, Anti-aircraft mounts, uh, which are on the wings of the bridge. But she's not a bad destroyer. And I'm, I think it's interesting for those comparisons between herself and Cossack um, standard, I guess you could say. Yeah, the Ishashi is down here, so I'm just going to keep bearing down there if I can. Game audio low. Try and catch up to and you. Mus no music. Okay. Take music twenty-five. Let me know how that comes through. Game audio. If I increase game audio. It's going to make Baz. Ooh. I'll do that. No Shashia found. Torpedoes direct front. Scharnhorst did a one eighty there, and he's coming out into the open. Catch me with my pants down. I think that fire on him is permanent. I had one on him earlier. Yes, the Shashir's torpedoes. Thanks, Crib, for the uh, the audio check-in. Much obliged. Yeah, I'm going to keep uh, pushing towards this is Shashio. Yeah. Alright. my smoke, apparently. Oh, well. I, I like the way uh, no, was Eternal says that uh, next is Hood 26 or something with torpedoes. I'd like to see Hood 44. Like the what if refit. Oh, there's the Shashu. Just at the edge of my range. I'm going to eat a top in the nose, I think, yeah. Uh, if you're still there, saving Dutchman. Uh, I wasn't in Widow's stream today, but I was there not more than yesterday. And I think the day before, too. I'm not sure. Yeah, congratulations to him for getting uh, over 500 subscribers from me. Uh, he's been working towards that for a while. Ah, uh, dang, dang, a sashio torpedo. They're sneaky buggers, though. They're, they're quick, I guess. I'll try to avenge you, Major. No, yeah, much obliged. Fletcher coming. Keep it up. Just ah. This Colorado's getting his back turrets involved, he said. Ooh, there's a Belfast to shoot at. So guys, I'm jumping between different audios. <laughs> So they still got the Shashi and the Fletcher out there. Yeah, I need to get rid of... Oh, whoa, oh, how is this Torx? All the way... Oh, come on. Oh, Magami has a... A new, uh... Camel. 
new Halloween camo. Looking at jump on board with that. Come on, Rudder, help me out there. He's oh, he's not even shooting at you. It's been interesting for a Colorado to blatantly ignore a Belfast in front of him. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, come on. Those <laughs> torpedoes are so hard to detect. Fletcher torpedoes. Jeez. And fast reloading. He just killed that Xenop. Unless he only used one launcher. He could have. Even with the luck of the Irish fans, you can. You can uh... <laughs> Like Colorado just wouldn't die. I needed him to die faster. Mm, I wonder if he's in build rebuild range of the Fletcher or something, maybe. Must have. I don't know what these other guys were shooting at, but they weren't shooting at the Colorado. Uh, Crit, uh, Crit says Hood 44, uh, what if rebuild non AA guided miss AA missiles change for guided missiles? Um, Hood 44 refit would have probably a lot more. She'd have a um, 5.2 inch dual purpose guns similar to the Vanguard fitted. Uh, also potentially a aircraft catapult. And probably, a, a, probably, a, a, probably she'd probably have like Vanguard, Van, Vanguard equivalent anti-aircraft capability. And turning torpedoes. I, I think the torpedoes would have been removed from the 44 design. What do you want to do, Vance? Hang around for this one, or...? Uh... I think this one this might be a lost cause, to be honest. Yeah. They have two ships in our base, even if uh, even if these guys figure it out against these two destroyers, I think, uh, I think they'll cap our base before we'll be able to cap theirs. Right? Yeah. Unless they split up. Unless the Kutuzov goes back, mm, I think I think they're just too far too far outnumbered. Oh, where goes that? I think we can probably go back. There's no point in watching this Kutuzov die. Right, what's next? Mm, should we do a tier five? Tier five, sure. Uh, what do we have on on store? Oh, how about the London? I haven't played the London much. Oh, that game's come through. Let's have a look how badly we did. Oh, I did really badly. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised how well that Kutuzov did. Huh. Let's see who's doing stuff. Just gonna launch it. Oh, the purse. Yeah. Was gonna was gonna do some. Well, I was thinking maybe doing Icarus or something like that, but I'll, I'll do the perf. Oh, Sean should get his um, perf tonight. He's only a hundred. More shards away. Yeah, I didn't bother grinding out the the Halloween mode. I played a little bit just so I could get the uh, the five stars and all the mm. difficulties. But after that, I I guess I played once or twice just to, to get some extra steel. But there's not really any point. Up 
It's a battleship, so on the other team. Especially compared to us. Get the nope. whole... Go wide left? Or right? Yeah, I'm gonna go wide left. It's gonna be funny to compare the, the size of these two cruisers together. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm on your port side. This little guy. Definitely faster. But you know me. Speed and power. <laughs> 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 oh, spotted. Oh, me too. Some of the destroyers over here. What is it? Hatsaharu. Or Hatsaharu. This is too much fancy. Oh. Dallas shooting at me. Spot, spot back. <laughs> Oh, I lost a spot. Oh, there's also an American battleship there. I'm gonna pop a smoke since I'm already standing still. The dough on my Dallas. Well, there's Hatsi Haru. Oh, he's right there. Okay, sonar on. Uh oh. I have to get torpedo now. And I'm just. Oh, I'm still getting hit. I'm still within detectability range. What about when firing your guns? Oh, nasty. Oh, I'm flooding and I have. Two fires, and I'm getting shot at blindly through smoke. There's a Hatsi Haru. What is my detectability firing in smoke? Oh my god, it's like 50 kilometers? What? Mm. I'm dead. Oh, okay. Got too much uh, bad luck in that one. Well, it gives me a chance to open my whiskey. <laughs> Get a head start on you, Major. Oh, no. Oh, well, there's a fresh do. bottle, too. Is that front off as well? This is the, the local distillery uh, that's near me called Shelter Point with their uh, interesting glass corks. So I don't know if they'll be Ooh. a bit of a pop or not. A little bit. Now it's funny, I bought this bottle over a month ago um, and I plan to open it on one of my streams. But uh, literally when I got home from the liquor store after buying it, uh, as soon as I walked in the door, I started feeling a sore throat. But the next day when I streamed, I didn't open it because I thought I was still going to have lemon tea or something instead. And uh, it turned out I had COVID. <laughs> so this bottle's been waiting for a while. You're really in the thick of it, too. You got yeah, four I... ships out of I have Are no you not dead yet? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One more to disappoint us. <laughs> That's funny. They were circling, circling you like sharks. Oh, it's all... Yeah, no, they, they, they control that flank. 
Yeah, it was just it was just me and you. So we did what we could. This is an interesting bottle. It's a it's a steel cask whiskey. So um, it's there's only two hundred and eighty four bottles. Ooh. And this is number 142, so right in the middle. I made sure to pick that one because they actually had more than one there. It was like all in a row, like 140, 141, etc. So it's like the one right in the middle, 142. Mm. This is a 53% alcohol. Uh, so I'm guessing that's somewhat in the, in the realm of cast strength. And this was distilled on April the 3rd of 2016 and bottled on July 13th of 2022, so just a few months ago. And it was bottled. Pretty cool that it has all that information on it. Hmm. And this, uh, this was aged solely in a hickory and applewood smoked barrel. Ooh. So... That's that's why I, I bought it because I wanted to. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna have like, fr that's gonna have like, hickories. yeah, it's gonna be a smoky flavor with like hints of like, hint fruity hints, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's talking about uh, fruit, like apple pie, orchard fruits, mm. burnt caramel, and then it said there's cloves, sweet cedar, and hickory woodsiness. I like that word, woodsiness. I like I, I can open mine in the meantime. I think we I think what you were you you're watching the um the Dallas on our team and I'm watching the uh, the Nelson. <laughs> Destroyers in our base. <laughs> Battleship's going on a three hour tour down here. Where are they going? I don't know. Uh it's not even a carrier game, so you'd think like I could come maybe understand why. Is it the Ismail or is it? Is there one even? Oh, there's one even further past the Ismail, the Bayern. Byron spent the whole match just sailing all the way around the edge. If you're a cruiser, maybe I could understand you could get back into the action, but as a battleship, you can't sail this far out of position because even mm. if you kill this guy, this orc, then it's going to take you rest of the match just to get into position to shoot somebody else. It's also the strange situation of a, a battleship with, which kind of focuses more on secondary armament, I guess you could say, um, has positioned itself so so far out. Yeah, and that too. Be hard. It looks like both teams strong-armed their right flank. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a merry-go-round. Mm. The problem is, if our team don't start turning back towards the base to at least stop the enemy destroyer, yeah, it's all done for. Well, they're they're going to cap because we just have battleships left and our last cruiser is way too far away. Mm. Well, what's, what's, your, uh, what's your whiskey taste like then, Bess? Is it good? I haven't tried it yet. I was waiting for you to, to open yours. Oh, all right. Go on. So, um, I'll let you talk about yours first. How about... Well... Here's something I bought literally just earlier. Um, <laughs> so it's, uh, I want to say Tenjaku, which is a blended Japanese whiskey. Uh, for those of you in the UK, you can get it in Sainsbury's. 40% uh, <laughs> strength. Um, let's see. Oh, well, I might as well read the blow on the back. Uh, Tenjaku is a Japanese is the Japanese characters for the Skylark, uh, High Barry, um, basically the translation. Um, the much-loved Herald of Spring and the masterful blended whiskey. Uh, like the clear, exquisite song of the small bird, it features an agreeably pure, mellow flavour, overlooking Mount Fiji, surrounded by nature's riches. Carefully selected whiskies and pure, natural spring waters are expect God expertly blended to create this distinct whiskey. It doesn't tell you anything about the whiskey, though, does it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I 
That sounds like a lot of marketing right there. Yeah, that's a lot of marketing. Um, but I think um, I think it's basically supposed to be light and fruity, I guess you could say. With a slight smoked flavour. It's um, cast in American bourbon barrels. As well, so... I should have brought the box over. Typical for a Japanese whiskey. Yeah. Does it have a cork on the top? I hope it has a cork on the top, or else we're not going to get any cork pop. We just have a little... Oh, we do have a cork. Good news. Yeah, there's nothing more disappointing than a screw top. Yes, yes. Now, the, the trick to getting a good pop on your, on your... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh there's, no, there's, there's not a cork. It is just a screw top. No, oh, no. <laughs> well, listen to this screw. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's it. <laughs> hey, Saxman's here. Hey, how are you, sir? How's the NBA going? Sax is crashing both of them. I always, I always see Saxman playing the NBA these days. Oh, but it's um, Citadel the Kuma three times with high explosives. Yeah, the Kuma doesn't have a lot of them. Let's, let's see how this actually tastes. It smells quite light. But it doesn't uh, doesn't smell bad. Mine doesn't smell uh, smoky or anything. It does smell. It smells fruity and yeah. like, uh, sort of like toffee-ish, caramelly-ish. Yeah, I'd say mine smells very light and very fruity. Well, somehow our, our team figured it out, and that uh, I think that Hatsuharu got too close. To, uh, to our ships. He got a little greedy. He was trying to get some damage. Got himself spotted and killed. Ooh. All right, Major. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes really strong. Mm. What's the percentage on yours? Only 40. Oh, okay. But I think it's because the flavours are so subtle. The, 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 the taste of the alcohol comes through quite strong. So it tastes a lot stronger than it actually is. Mm. Mine's... A, mine's um... It's very smooth considering it's mm. 53%. I don't know, I don't, I don't get too much hickory, but I do get a sort of like a woody taste. And the aftertaste. But it's, um, it's definitely a sipper, something you want mm. uh, guzzling down. Anything over 50% usually uh, is pretty strong. But it's it's nice though. And again, it's, it's interesting that there's it's just the one cask. So who knows? Maybe they'll never do this again. Mm -hmm. Let's say multiple casks. Who knows? Oh, hey, B log, how are you? Thanks for joining. Somehow we uh, pulled out the win in that one. I guess, uh, guess we held him off just long enough, Major. <laughs> we, our sacrifice was worthwhile, was it, Vaz? Yeah, well, oh. somehow you, you finished second after all that. To, to, to be honest, after my performance last game, I'll, I'll take that. Um, what do you want to play next, Vaz? Um, I don't know. Should we do a... Should we try Tier 7? No. Oh. Go on then. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's so many choices at tier seven. Whether it's uh, gonna turn out to be fun or not. Maybe we'll play a destroyer. We'll play the this one. Okay, you wouldn't play a destroyer, do you? Let's do, let's do this.
Oh, Sean, Sean's got another dad joke for us. He had to quit his job. Uh, he had to quit his new job at a helium gas factory. I didn't like being spoken to in that high of a tone. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I heard a joke, a Sean, a Sean joke uh, oh. today. Go on. Um, uh, how did it go? Now, I, now I'm blanking on it because there was another one which I know a hundred percent. I've heard him tell this one before. It's what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember him saying that one before. What was the other one? Oh, okay. Uh, so the other day, I asked my dog what two minus two was. He said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong joke. <laughs> oh. I, I've got two. I've got two favorites from, from Sean. Um, I think. I think my fa I think the, the recent one that he uh, I kind of liked. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a dirty joke, as you say, but he, he said, like, um, I, I've heard that uh, sex is better when you're on holiday. At least that's what the wife said in her postcard. <laughs> <laughs> there um, was a, well, since you're okay with that one, there was a, oh, no. a customer that <laughs> he was at the bar a few weeks ago and he was telling everybody that he could this joke and he says uh, uh, what sexual position produces the ugliest children and he says I don't know but ask your mother <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a bit cruel <laughs> he thought it was hilarious <laughs> And he thought it was funnier each time he told it, too. I heard him say it at least twice, and, and I tried to uh, avoid him as much as possible after that. Oh, there is something. Behind the Bismarck, amusingly. Yeah, popping smoke. Could be a cruiser, couldn't it? Could be Plymouth or Fiji. Oh, there's a destroyer to my left. Uh, what's that? Port B B Fiska. Popping smoke. Him. I don't want to get secondary fire from him. Help out our other destroyer there. Zach says he asked Siri, uh, why am I still single? And his front camera turned off. Well, this is how I'm um, talking about the next patch. Um, Apparently, there's rumors going around that next patch is going to be um, quite quite a big one, I guess you could say. Um, and I guess with daring being teased, potentially daring coming as a uh, legendary tier bureau project, along with um, apparently keep hold of your credits. Not sure whether uh, whether we're expecting um, British tier rates. I certainly wouldn't mind. Ooh. How long has your smoke screen got, Baz? Uh, a minute and a half. Oh, okay. The long, the long smoke screen. Nice, yeah, that's block that's keeping me blocked from the Bismarck, so I'll I'd uh, quite happily borrow that. Oh, I have torpedoes now coming to the other direction. Gotta put on a bit of a dance here with uh, these torpedoes, and I have torpedoes coming now from Oh, you've got Fiji coming in. The other way, I'm really screwed. Uh, yeah, Baz, you need to get out of there. Let me see if I can get rid of it. Yeah, I have my torpedoes now. It's a beautiful stuff. The destroyer's contesting you, isn't it? Oh no, Brandenburg's pushing in. Brandenburg's pushing in. Yeah. On the Brandenburg. I've checked out a load of talks myself. But it looks like Brandenburg's turning hard. So 
Look at this pushing in too. And the farm from the defender and it's Oh, oh Plymouth's actually potentially going to cruise into two of my torps. Oh, no, no. Dang it. Oh, this smoke screen is this? Is that yours? Yeah, it's mine. I just dropped it uh, just so I could go undetected as I'm running from the Plymouth and the Brandenburg. I'll pop that goat. And, uh... This is Connie. Oh, our uh, Fiji has decided to suicide. I'm going to check out some torps, which are probably going to cross your stern. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, you... Oh, all right. I, I stopped. That smoke screen's only got three seconds. My one. Okay. Brandenburg has a permanent fire on him. Let's see. Let's see. Plymouth might accident. No, oh no. If you do a quick hard to your right side, you should be able to get into my smoke. Okay. Got my torps out on the Plymouth. Bismarck with our guy. Permanent fire in the Bismarck right now. Oh, nice. We got the Fiji sort of backing up the Bismarck, but he's kind of too far away. Oh, dang it. So let's see if. Massachusetts. Boys Gavita is still alive. Oh. And he sailed all the way down there. Really strange. Oh, nice job, Massachusetts. Hello, Marcus. How are you? Thanks for joining. Is Jake also asked? I like gin. I have a bunch of gin in my in my cabinet. Oh, Mecha Man's got a bottle of Shackleton's. I think didn't I have Shackleton's the first time we did um, whiskey and warships? Yeah, and then uh, because of that, I I bought one, so I have I have a bottle of Shackleton's in my cupboard and still. I haven't gotten around to it yet. That reminds me, I, I ought to get a bottle of Shackleton's again. Yeah, yeah I remember you saying you really liked it. Mm, yeah, no, it's, it's quite a... It's one of those whiskeys I... I, always, it, it, I haven't seen it on the shelf, actually. It's only in a couple of supermarkets here in the UK, so... Um... It seems quite hard to find, like, yeah, like you said, it's not in any stores that I've ever seen in, in Canada. I just, just happened to get it off of that uh, that website uh, over in the next province mm. from Alberta. They had it. They they have uh, some some rare bottles from time to time, it seems. So that's where I got mine. Oh, some people in my chat are saying they prefer rum. Um, well, for those of you interested, um, Kraken Spiced Rum, uh, they've just released a limited, I guess limited edition? Um, it's uh, it's basically got um, coffee flavouring. Or it's got, it's got co yeah, basically it's coffee flavoured spiced rum. Um, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> so that was, oh, that was, are you trying it? Yeah, there's that, that was the wife's drink. So she, she picked up that and I picked up the, the Japanese uh, whiskey. Okay, I think I've seen that coffee one before. 
Hmm, it's first time I've seen it, but it might be. I don't know. Maybe I. Because I don't Not usually get. That would interest myself. Mm. Mm. I better go over to Bravo, haven't I? I think yeah. I think the destroyer's in there, unless that uh, battleship can deal with them. for him, that's for sure. His turrets are turned the completely wrong direction. Maybe his secondaries will get him, though. There we go. Okay, there we go. Saves us having to deal with it. Coffee rum. It's about what you put it with. Um, what we did was we put a tiny bit of the coffee rum in with some milk, and it's almost like a coffee Bailey's. Jeff's more of a brandy man. Fair enough. Oh, top two. Hey, that's better. Yeah, we're fi finally, finally doing something. Uh, do you want me to pick? Right. Yeah, it's up. It's up, up to you, Major. Mm. I'll uh, I'll put the lightning out there and uh, see see what you go for. Then I might change if you pick something weird. Pick <laughs> something weird, huh? <laughs> what should we pick? That's weird. Oh, here's something that's fun that we haven't played much of. Actually, I'm, I might change. I'm, I'm probably I stick with a DD, but I'm I'm gonna just change it up to uh, a DD of another nation. One thing I haven't tried a lot of, Jeff, is uh, brandy. I need to try some more brandies. Mm. I do. I do like brandy towards uh, towards Christmas. One of my wife's aunts really likes brandy, so she's always having it. So I've I've had it with her a few times. Oh, Sean's telling jokes again. Yeah. No, I just read it as well. <laughs> Saw a man standing on one leg at an ATM cash point. Confused, I asked him what he was doing. He said, I'm checking my balance. Uh, I actually think I'm going to add a little bit of water to my whiskey. It's a little bit... Uh, I'm, I might, I, yeah, I might do the same. Starting to it's starting to burn the taste buds. Mm, yeah, that's what mine did pretty much straight away. We have three destroyers on the other team, so I'm not gonna barge in there quite yet. Akazuki, I don't think I've seen you take the Akazuki out before. Well, this is my speed build, Akazuki. Is, is there such a thing? <laughs> yeah, she does 38 knots base now. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, I, I had to put um, Blue Fiora on my Akazuki build because it's just too slow. Oh, yeah. No, that's what I hate about it. It's, 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 it's the, the, the speed. So, so. so I think I've got um, Togo on here. With Belarusius, and then inspired with Fraser and Blue Furia, and she has a 38.1 knot base speed. Mm. Downside is uh, you don't get the. Uh, um, is it destroy or be destroyed? In which you get the um, the reticle. Great. All the cruisers are coming over to this side. I have a black. Secondary should be able to reach him. There we go. Whether they can actually get him or not. He's shooting at, at your right, so it's detected.
playing with torpedoes. We forgot about that. Black's used this radar already. That's why I ran. Because I, I don't wanna I don't be I don't wanna be lured into a radar trap like that. Oh well, Helen I should be dead. If he's not, I would be surprised. Oh come on. Oh, we'll In we go. Into the breach, okay. as you say. Uh, Kriv asks if I'm speaking any Japanese after that whiskey. Um, no. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, just left the hell with this sliver. Come on. Well, Black's turned up again. But he's running, so. Um, well, there's three cruisers behind that island. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a, a, a very small Japanese sentence. Um, I take one torpedo. Ah, I got a double fire on me now. The H is cruiser. Mm. Yeah, they both are. I don't know if I have will to rebuild, but I might need your help. Oh, I'm missing a torpedo launcher. Oh, I'm dead. No, it's a Weimar. Can't hit the broad side of a barn. Oh, I got a fire with the secondary. That's comical. Oh, well, their flanks completely collapsed, so. Yeah, this is a lost cause. We had, we had no help from our flank either. Playing really passive. Oh, hey DJ, how are you? Thanks for joining. Try Dead Man's Fingers Rum. Mmm, yeah, I'll try that. Chili rum and it burns. Okay, interesting. I looked that up. Dead man's fingers. Oh. Where is it made? Oh, it's a cool, cool bottle. And they have all kinds of them, huh? Uh, yeah, sorry, b -Log. we're just sort of doing a, a thing between the Major and myself right now. Maybe uh, maybe next stream I'll, I'll pick you up. They have, whoa, they have white rum, passion fruit rum. They just basically have all the different flavors. I'm not really sure what to do with this one. Coffee rum, hazelnut rum, hemp rum, good hemp rum tastes like. Not much I can do against a vine, man. Oh, there's the chili rum. Spicy. Oh, 
might as well just die, I think. Yeah, get over and done with. Say knives? No. Is this made in London? Uh, isn't Saint Ives um, Scottish Isles? Bristol. Distillers in, in Bristol. Oh. Okay. That's not too far from me. You should go for a tour. What's this? Dead Man Fingers Rum? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> so, well, I, I'm reading from my chat, and I love how, like, there's sensible comment, sensible comment. And then there's Sean with another dad joke. So I just, I literally just read, uh, and my Cribs comment said, uh, did you guys uh, try the creme liqueur uh, called Magnum? It's like Bailey's just made with Scotch whiskey. I'm like, oh, okay, that's quite interesting. And I read the next quote, which is from Sean, which is, I've been taking Viagra for my sunburn from holiday. It doesn't cure it, but it keeps the sheets off my legs at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. Oh, God. All right. All right. What should we do? What uh, should we do? How about we play um, play the, the new one? I haven't tried it yet. What's the new one? For well, Halloween? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's tier three. <laughs> Now what that done, what the Japanese battleship? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. You don't have to play that one. You can play. I uh, I, I, I don't have that one. <laughs> uh, you didn't get it from uh, no from loan. No, we weren't we weren't gifted it, and um, I have no interest in it, and I I don't want to play the Halloween mode either, so I um I gave it a hard pass. Um. Boy, so are you telling me I have a ship that you don't have? Oh yes, wow. Vass, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I you're all kinds of jealous too. Oh yes, I'm green with envy. Oh, what is at tier three? See, you're going to play a battleship. I don't want to play a carrier, so that just leaves a destroyer or a cruiser. No, no, no. Does it have AA? Oh god. I take that I take as a no then. Yeah, don't play carrier, how about <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely not gonna play a carrier. Let's go for this let's go for the spike lander. Sorry boy, hello, hello, hello. Proper rums are unpolished, i.e. no sugar or flavouring added. They're sim uh, yeah, similar to a fine whiskey. Ooh. Yeah, that's a very, very true statement, old boy. I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I'm just going to cancel that. Someone requested the G101. Okay. I might... Um, things, how am I going to get water in my whiskey? When I'm live on stream, I might be able to. There might be too much water. I'm gonna have to put more whiskey in now. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna turn into a vicious circle. Oh, that's too much whiskey. I have to put some more water in. Yeah, that should be. Have more whiskey. I'm gonna need a bigger glass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's really brought the flavours out, though. Hmm. Now the flavours aren't so overpowered by the strength of it. That's actually quite pleasant. Yeah, mine, mine needed the water, too. It was a little bit too too hot on the alcohol. Yeah, I find with um, Japanese things, like Japanese gins, Japanese whiskey, well, I'd have a guess Japanese whiskies as of today, 
and even sake, like, even though, say, the alcohol strength isn't that high or anything like that, you find that because the, the flavours are always so subtle that you always kind of taste the alcohol. Because, mm. like, sake is no stronger than wine. But when you drink sake, you definitely um, can taste the alcohol. Yeah. Maybe we should do sake and ships next time, maybe. <laughs> oh boy, it's been a long time since I've had sake. Uh, I've never actually bought it. This one here at a Japanese restaurant. Mm, okay. You should be able to get hold of it over there, shouldn't you? To be honest, you're closer to Japan than I am. Oh, oh yeah. There, there's a whole section when I go to the liquor store of uh, sake oh, nice. and some spirits. There's a there's a whole bunch of um, Chinese and Taiwanese stuff. I don't even know. And my wife actually likes to buy the Korean suju. I don't know oh. if you've heard of that. It's sort of like their their sort of rice wine. Yeah, but maybe what I might see. I might see if we can get the same one. That would be quite an amusing one. Oh, yeah, that would be interesting, yeah. I mean, we we need to put a bit more like planning into into this whiskey. Like, <laughs> we have to always just like, you know, because of our schedules and whatnot. So just kind of whenever whenever we get a chance, you know, let's go. It's always last minute. Hmm. Oh, they're really sneaky torpedoes. Oh. I was thinking I was going to see them a lot more before then, and when I did see them, it was too late. Oh, well, Vaz, our team depends upon you. Where are you? Where is this? There you are. I was trying to back you up, but this thing is not exactly free to foot. So what the hell are we looking at here? Oh, we're looking at the Japanese Nowazer, that's it. So the whole purpose of the um, the turret arrangement is to work around the um, the engines because they're uh, they're expansion engines, so they take up a lot of space. So in order to fit around the boilers and things like that, um, they put the turrets around the outside like that. Major, get yourself some whiskey stones. I'm yet to find some decent ones. I think someone got me some whiskey stones before, but they just they just didn't really do anything. Um, they might just I might have maybe the density of them just wasn't good enough or something like that. But yeah, it's something to something to think of. As if hello, hello, hello. I've probably missed loads of people in my chat. I do apologise. Obviously, this is a uh, because uh, it's a collaboration live stream. Uh, it's a little bit different to the usual, I guess you'd say. I don't pay so much attention to the chat. Oh, you're you're going in there, Vaz, aren't you? I figured I'd go and have some fun. To be honest, the way's been cleared. Um, just got to watch out for any crossfires, really. And I haven't seen their planes in the air either, so I think the carrier might be AFK. Hmm. Well, sure. We have to worry about him. What's your progress this campaign, Vaz? Are you 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 bothering oh, I, a bit or? No, I'm stuck up like last week's uh, one where it's like 75 defender ribbons or some nonsense like that, whatever that is. I just gave up. Mm. Um, I I didn't plan on buying it anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. I haven't I haven't been playing much. Um, like I said, I played one match yesterday, but I think before then. I which is pretty rare for me. Yeah, I don't think I've played since Friday's live stream last week. Um, just been, mm. just been busy doing other things. I uh, I started up uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, I streamed it um, and uh, I had a lot of fun playing it. So I think. Um, 
I'll probably just continue playing more of that instead of instead of ships until they Go broadside to this ladder. Yeah, Nevada's. Just... Well, at the moment, I think if you put a little. Yeah. If you hold your current position, you should be fine because the iron to block you. Yeah. I just want to move a little bit forward. Yeah, it's going to say you might want to put a little bit of court speed on now. Focus. And then Nevada's going to go behind the, her own island. Was Nevada's shooting at the Texas behind you? Oh God! Oh, who was that? I did. That was from the front. Punched me right through the nose. Looked like it was from the um, the Ashen Core. Because uh, I guess. Yeah. Try to turn the thing away for a moment. These other two guys who are quote unquote backing me up from the edge of the map. <laughs> Thanks for the help, gentlemen. Would you be uh, would you be alright if I played a, a little bit of Ark Royal? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, wait. The, both of those battleships just went pop uh, in front. Wait, with the ones that are in front of you, they should just died oh. just next to each other. Yeah, prepare yourself for the most anti-aircraft. If you want, I'll even allow you to play a tier six. I'll be kind. Oh, I'll look through my tier five. That's so good. Pick, pick someone with good AA. Or just, or just be aware of aircraft. I guess you could say. Is this? I don't like playing the California. Oh, Devonshire's got good AA, but I know how much you hate that thing. Which one? Devonshire. Yeah, we're not playing that. Sorry. <laughs> you could maybe take the London out. You could take the London out again, maybe. London is as far as I go down that rabbit hole. Oh, the P. Frederick is not bad. Look at that, how, how big a Dunkirk no good. And all these Russian cruisers are no good too. How was the London? Uh, London's alright. I'm gonna do the Prince Ido free jet and make that ship. Yeah, fair enough. Secondary. Oh, I have my. Atkinson build on here though. Cheshire. I, mm, I do like the idea. You, you don't play characters, do you, Vaz? No, not very often. Once every couple months. Okay, because you could, you could take Cheshire or maybe Atlanta if you have them. Um, I think it was quite good AA wise tier six. Let me switch this one back. Ooh, Sean's you know Sean's what? comment. What do you do if you're drunk and you run into your ex-wife? Reverse to make sure. That's basically uh, <laughs> regards to driving. Hmm. Oh, Melissa says Belfast. So you could take tier six Belfast. Which one is the speed guy? Oh, Chipretti. Uh, yeah, for battleships. Yeah. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, you going for a speed build? Have you? Uh, yeah, I do have Belfast, Melissa. Did I play it? I think I played it in the very first match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, Belfast at tier 6 um, does have quite, not super amazing AA, but it, it does have good enough AA. Um, because 
I think the anti-aircraft guns are slightly more accurate, potentially. There's not a lot of them, but they do seem to hit hard. Yeah, I think in one of my recent matches in it, I almost got a um, Clear Skies medal. Oh, nice. I think it was at 19, and I, the carrier died, so I didn't get it. Oh, there's no destroyers. Perfect. God, the detection of carries is so large these days. I'll say hi to Taz on my stream. How are you, Taz? Good to see you again. Oh. Mm. Chestnut, hello, hello. I lost 140 pounds a few years ago. Uh, you may be uh, thinking how I divorced her. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a. Oh no, it's Atlanta. Is that Atlanta? Yeah. Atlanta B, is it? Oh no, just regular Atlanta. Just regular Atlanta, but it's absolutely chewed my aircraft up. And then I run into a Pensacola. Oh, they do know how to spoil me, don't they? <laughs> I have nothing to fear, so I shall push fast. Full speed ahead. What's the, um, the, the other cruiser that's moving from Charlie towards Delta? York, okay. I might do a couple of torpedo runs on that then. What's the most amount of planes everyone has ever shot down in the match? Mine was 76 in the Lexington. Oh, good lord. That enemy carrier must have really wanted your blood. I have no results on the broadside, is it? It's slightly angled. York's offering you a broadside. Setting that up, Major. No worries. That's 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 what a carrier is supposed to do. I hope. Yeah. Ooh, it's a Pensacola now. I'm so so worried about your torpedoes. Oh. Well, oh, Mecha Man says apparently, I believe the enemy carrier was at August from Parsifal. Throw away 76 aircraft trying to attack a Lexington. Uh, they must have only targeted you that entire game. I'm waiting for the torpedoes to come. The torpedoes on the Atlanta are quite short range. Yeah, I thought he would have. Them a little bit so yeah, like last minute dish kind of throw out. Pensacola, I've got a fire on the Pensacola uh, stick. Oh, but one of the Pensacola sticking.
is one very needy Colorado. <laughs> Where is he now? He's in the middle still. Flat broadside too. Pensacola's are on this team. Uh, at least two, I think. It's just. Oh, now it's. Oh, as soon as I fire my gun, it's just. From zero to sixty. One second. That's the look. Oh, someone just thought of a lesson. <laughs> Well, I've got double flooding on New Mexico. Thanks, man. Let that run its course. Then. <laughs> there you're coming after me. Now, Crib says he's currently not playing high tier battles, and I honestly wouldn't blame him. For that Fuso looking at one kill of mine, I'd be cracking on. Enrio was nearly dead, so it's just the visor with any meat left on the bones. Very nice. Oh, do we? Is that a perfect game? We didn't lose a ship, huh? Oh, really? Mine's second ages in the battle screen. Oh, gosh, you're right. We didn't lose a single ship. Perfect match. A very one sided game. Really right, your pick, sir. Okay. Let's do tier five. Uh, should we do a uh, tier four? That's the only tier we haven't done. Well, we haven't done tier one. <laughs> oh, we sure could. Well, maybe we'll save tier one for last. Oh, God. Two for us, some pickings though. I don't know. Two 
Nova? Nobody plays the Nova, really. Try that. Taz says, can you play Azuma? No, Taz. <laughs> <laughs> For once, we're not. The Major will play the Azuma. He'll play it next. I'm trying to think what the hell I want to do with... Um... You know what? I, I'm, I'm just going to... No, I'm not going to do this. I'm looking at the Hawkins and I'm like, ah, no, I, I don't want to do this. I know what I want to do. For attacker. Something's happened again. Oh. Eat orange ships. Was that the last game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sean had a good joke. Do you want to read it? Uh, so he says, me and the wife was at a five-star restaurant when the food arrived. I said, let's eat. But the wife said, don't forget to say a prayer before, like at home. I said, that's home. I know here the chef can cook. <laughs> well, this is a very cruiser-heavy game. Lots of cruisers. But uh, the favorite's us, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure where to go. Should we go and help out uh, Alpha? Yeah, let's do that. Probably gonna abandon it anyways. It looks like the Nuremberg's uh, turning off. You know. Yeah, Melissa brings it brings a point. Like, um, uh, obviously, we've been told that the the most popular nations in the game are, uh, are Japan, America, Germany, and Russia. The other nations not being so popular, um, but it might be potentially um, due to time period when playing. But like, uh, it does seem that the Royal Navy actually does appear quite often. And I think in this game, there's like four ships. The Devonshire, a War Spite, um, a Leander, an Emerald. So four out of eighteen ships in this game. Yes, oh, no, there was the. When we destroy her in uh, Alpha, and at least four enemy crew. Um, Faz, j just a note: we came over here to help the two cruisers. Um, they left. Yeah, they left. <laughs> they left us. Looks like we're gonna be uh, holding them off. Yeah. Last match, and Ooh, enemy citadels on the Emerald. Enemy destroyers the Vestras. Oh, they most of their team came over here. Very nice shell group. And Emerald had his sonar on, obviously. Yeah, we've also got Emily Leander and Emily Dallas here. Emeralds. No, I thought she was dropping a smoke screen, but not. Well, you got hip tops. I got a torpedo hit uh, with my uh, land landmines there. Uh, Emerald is flooding. Do you want me to try and finish her off? I'm just gonna let her flood out. Okay, I'll uh, I'll switch to the um, the I'll, swi I'll switch to the Leander kind of then. Uh, took refuge behind the island for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and come back out. 
I was expecting the destroyer to come over here, but he turned around. Oh, the emerald uh, damage con at the last. Oh, I'm gonna try and finish her then. She's coming out, so if she makes it. I'll be able to if not, yeah, you finish her. Okay. Ooh. I just want to remove the DPM as quickly as possible because they got. Wow. It's you and me versus five? At least five. Commander's going back. Yeah, she's kiting it out. Over there, then. She's dropping a smoke. Leander's turning out. She's uh, she's not chasing us. The Strauss has left us alone. Oh god, we got Pensacola coming in too. Jeez, where is all these guys coming from? There's Leander. Yeah, switching to her. Go on, no overpens. Oh, two set of dolls up there. I think you knocked her engines out. Yeah. Gotta get past the station. I'm gonna switch to Dallas because she's close. They shot lights me on fire this time. Just set out the Dallas. Oh, I'm at the edge of the map. Oops. Oh, can you finish the Dallas? I might have them with Torps. I'm gonna take shots at him anyways. Oh no, Torps missed. Okay, thanks. Um, close, 15 uh, seconds. Bearing down on you. Right, going for a top run on the, on the Pensacola. Nice. Uh, flat broadside on them here. Those are looking nice. Go. One more of those. Nice. Oh, oh. Ouch. oh, and that's that. We have our flag. Yeah, we did it. Wow. <sighs> Yummy pun cake. Oh, okay. I was the very needy Colorado. <laughs> I always do that to people, don't worry. <laughs> uh. Jeff says, brave choice, Vaz. <laughs> what, going for the Ganova? I guess so. It's, it's kind of, I treat it like a battle cruiser. So, like, I'm comfortable with these, these kind of ships. Mm, for the most well, part. I do, the Ganova is nice in quite a, a lot of traits apart from her armor scheme. Like, she's great against, say, cruisers, because she's got those 8 inch guns. Mm hmm. Um, and she's got like a, an armor skin that's sufficient against 8 inch guns, but as soon as she starts coming against battleships, that's when she really starts to flounder a little bit. Yeah, especially tier 5s too. But this was a good match for it. We had mostly cruisers to, to fend off. Oh, yeah, GG on Pancake, GG. Tal says then, okay, can you play Gascon? Oh my god. Gascon. Gascon. The only thing worse than Azuma is Gascon. Oh, is that, oh, that's that French tier 7 um, yeah. piece of scrap. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's, it's, it really is a plum ship. Keep trying, B-Log. Hard to do. It's good to see that our carrier's um, got a brain, because he's actually like he's actually pushing up. He's moving. He hasn't just hit reverse and slammed into the back of the map. 
He's coming to get himself a, a sister cat. Mm. <laughs> that that that's almost like when you can kind of tell you've got like a, a good carrier player on your team when they actually move their carrier. Yeah, I think absolutely. Too too often you see um, carriers that don't move until it's too late, or they stick it in reverse and hope for the best. I should be alright to dodge these. The range on this Let's see her off, she's running from the back. Nope, she's coming, it's coming for us. Mm, Drake is a heavy cruiser, I, yeah. Drake would be nice. Does she come with the 9.2 inch guns as well? I think she does. Where's it going? Uh, Cyril's changed her mind. Uh, <laughs> Got nine citadels that match. Right, Major, your your choice. I'm actually moving the campaign along. Ooh, top two. I've got my daily and my weekly. To be honest, fans, I think we we definitely earned that top two, um, being that we got basically abandoned on the flank for yeah, it was a just, good part of that. It was just us versus a, a handful of guys there. So you're, you're going to play the Gascon now, yeah? Oh, God, I guess so. Does that mean you're playing Azuma? <laughs> God. <laughs> fine, fine. Our to be honest, I, are gonna I throw their controllers. <laughs> I prefer I prefer Azuma over um oh, what's that what's that German piece of scrap they added to the game? Siegfried. I prefer oh, really? Yeah, I prefer Azuma over Siegfried. I really like Siegfried. Let's use this. I do a secondary build on this one. Oh, I should I use this one though? 15 inch guns, okay. Oh. That Japanese whiskey is definitely getting into the bloodstream, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe, but she needs to have it with the reload. Yeah, yeah. But I think Drake will have triple gun turrets, so although she might end up with probably the same reload as the Cheshire, she should have more bang for her buck due to the number of guns. And maybe, fingers crossed, improved accuracy and maybe improved reload, that would be nice. Because of how useless the guns are on this ship, I do a full secondary build just because <laughs> <laughs> they can go to 7.5, so at least I can do some damage. See, so, uh, I, I assume you're going to be trying to get in close in with that. Yep, I got my engine boost. At least that can get me close. But I'll probably <laughs> die before I get close oh. enough to use my second. I was going to say, en engine boost so you can die quicker. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll try and play the Azuma properly, but oof. All right, our suffering in this match is is for Taz. This is your fault, Taz. I'd say the right hand flank. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's a horrible division on the enemy team: Plymouth, Baltimore, Jean Bar. Ooh, that's a that's a try hard one right there. Yeah. You sank me. I recognize that name. The jump art. I think he plays a lot. And Cheshire up to tier 7, faster reloads, forts. Um, only if it got the guns, but then again, that's what Drake is, I hope. Action pop of Japanese whiskey. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's a Japanese blended whiskey. Um, how fast are you going, Vaz? 
Oh, right now I, I'm not even at full speed yet. We're, yeah. I put the engine boost on. Um, I'm up to 32, 33. Okay, I'm just gonna put the brakes on and uh, pass your stern in a second. Oh, might be able to shoot at something here. Oh, oh we got uh, we got the try hard division on the right on the right flank. Okay, perfect. I'm going to uh, I'm going to ram them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my strategy. <laughs> I'm gonna um, ram all three. <laughs> I might actually mosey up behind this island to see if I can keep getting some HE over. The Baltimore's poking his nose out. I can, I can get a shot on him. Top. Oh, ricochets. It? Or those by oh, PG? Those ricochets were shatters. We might have a little bit of a problem. We've got a Colorado and a Vanguard pushing hard at the center. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop and dispose of this is my secondaries on this Baltimore. <laughs> got him on fire. Well, Plymouth is broadside. I can't pass that up. Oh, someone just that. someone just really hit the Plymouth. Yeah, sorry Plymouth, that was. Me. Right, well I've got a very big problem now. I can't push too far forward because of those guys in the center. Yeah, yeah. John Bart, I guess. Oh, he's turning though. Plymouth. Fire on the jump bar. We got Torps going in on the Johnny Bingos. Oh, please hit. Nice. Up over there. Because I think he damaged the Oh, I just got it from the center. Darn. Colorado. The ballsy Colorado. I was trying to get angled towards the John Bart and I poked myself a little too far. Oh, 45,000 damage in four minutes. One and a half minutes. This is not going to be a good game. I can only see a way our team's just folding up. Uh, things quite go well there. I don't know what happened to everybody else. They all just decided to go broadside or something. We had like a, a Mutian and a Fiji on the right flank just push hard. Which is like, they're not really the cruisers for pushing hard in. Yeah, those are the wrong ships to... They're there flanking ships and sitting back and let the enemy push into your ships. Like the Fiji loves being pushed into. Boy. We're about to lose our Bismarck on the other side too, so there's steam rolling us. Oh, Bolty. Battle tank for days. Let's hope I catch her out with a bit of AP, that'd be nice. Ugh, nope.
Uh, Sishin just comes from the Colorado, just gonna keep hurting. I think you're right, Sean. I think that's the only reason why a lot of people hate John Bard is because uh, the hate all comes from people who don't have the ship. I think this John Bard's got a um, really be strong. Uh, John, uh, Division's playing rotary build. Mm -hmm. I've got I've got double fire on the uh, Jean Bar and I can't. It's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Destroyers in their base. It's just a matter of time. Oh, this Wichita is just in full reverse to the back corner of the map. That's really funny. Old bow tank mode. Well, I think it's time to wave the white flag, Major. If only there was a white flag to wave. <laughs> it's one thing about playing on the weekends is these one sided matches. Happens far too often. I really hope they nerf the hell out of Wilt's rebuild in the future. It's such a bad mechanic. It is a pain. There's, you know, people argue that it's to counter AG spamming, but it, it's just. It just makes you unkillable. He's strong. There you are. I let myself get killed to the Colorado, despite the division. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of have to do a real crew. Which build needs to be removed or, massive, or massively nerfed? I was the second one to die and I finished third. Wow. Yeah. Another That's massive one sided game. I hope you enjoyed that, Taz. I hope that was riveting. To to be honest, Faz, like we knew it was one sided. We knew there was a try hard division. We still got first and third. I don't mm -hmm. think the issue was us. I'm gonna be honest with it. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. It it was more it was more so a dig at the tier. Mm. Um I have time for one more if you do. Yeah, yeah, no, I got plenty of time. I'll let you pick, sir. Okay. Um. Oh, let's uh, redeem ourselves in the Belfast, right? That that's that was our first match, I think. I'll redeem <laughs> myself in Cossack Thirty Eight, then I hope. B Log says, "Do legendary tier." Never. No. I no. played way too many legendary matches for my liking. Especially on the weekend. The weekend you want to avoid legendary tier like the plague. Melissa, man was walking the Pennine where he eventually comes across a tractor running. A woman turns up and fires a shotgun. The man runs off and eventually finds another tractor. The woman turns up. What? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> What's the Penny Way? Oh, Pennine Way. Um, Pennine Way. It's a. Uh, it's, well, it's, I think it's a mountain range walk in the UK. There's the Pennines, which is like a an area okay. of the UK which is basically quite hilly. Seen online, there's a lot of hatred towards the John Bar. Yeah, you read that one, didn't you, Baz? Which one? Oh, regarding the hatred, hate, hatred of the John Bar. 
Oh yeah. Honestly, I I think is I. Although, the Jean Bar probably does deserve a little bit of the hate. I think that most of the hatred that the Jean Bar gets is probably due to the players that have her, because the players who have her can only be the players who finish that campaign. And if they have still got their ship and they're playing the, um, from the campaign, then they played the game for quite a bit, and therefore they um, should have a good grasp on the mechanics of the game. And therefore, were able to abuse it. I mean, in that last game, the Jean Bar was only really a pain because they abused Will to Rebuild. Without Will to Rebuild and um, good coordination with the division, that Jean Bar would have been a dead duck a long time ago. Yeah, if I wouldn't have uh, pushed out further than I had, um, I think my next salvo might have killed them at that uh, particular moment. Oh, I'm undetected. Perfect. Yeah, I'm doing the right thing as a DD, pushing out and uh, spotting. Oh, Francesca Achillea went quiet and then fired their guns. What an idiot. <laughs> Your smoke. Yeah, absolute waste of a smoke screen. The well, nearest ship to me is the Francesco Cacilio, so you're all right for now. Actually, the mass has now just got a bit closer. I'm expecting to see a mass pop up on uh, this square here. There you go. Oh, there is. Oh, um, pop my support just save. Oh, it's too far. Nice. My sonar up, just please. Help that battleship out and pass me. I'm just waiting for my uh, sex base to drop off. There it goes. Uh, so I'm going to assume that the uh, Francesco killer is going to turn in, uh, like, well, uh, turn left when he gets around that corner. Oh, no, he's slowing down. Hit the brakes. Oh, the man says I'm an extractor fan. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, right. Sorry. Apologies, fans. So that joke was is a free parter. Uh, <laughs> oh, another shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So I'll, I'll start. I'll start I'll, apologies. I'll start from the beginning. I was walking the Penang Way and eventually comes across a tractor with the engine running. Uh, a woman turns up and fires a shotgun. 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 The man runs off and eventually finds another tractor. The woman turns up, fires again. Eventually comes to a pub and the landlord says, "If you can get rid of this smoke, you can drink for free." The man breathes in and eventually he clears all the smoke. The landlord asks, "How did you do that?" The man says, "He's an ex-tractor fan." Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, my delivery wasn't perfect, but I get it. <laughs> Ooh, fire in there. Let's see if we can get rid of the Algeria because she's only got about a thousand HP left. Right, I'm going to start going after the Fletcher then. Damn. 
Mechaman says, most played ship is the Alaska. He loves the thing. Those 12-inch rifles hit much harder than one expects. Yeah, especially with the rickshaw angles as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alaska is pretty yeah. vicious. Very strong. I am detected. Yeah, there's a Fletcher kicking around in this um, this smoke screen about, located about here. Well, top, top, yeah. top corner of that. Uh, put my radar on in a couple of seconds as soon as you get to it. Oh, oh, she's right on top of me. Fine. No, I mean, I need help. I'm gonna burn up for a bit, but I should survive. Well, Fletcher launched torps at me, sticky head mugger. Yeah, he chucked a volley at me and a volley at you. If he would have survived a bit longer, I would have run into him. Suki, Heinrich, and Brandenburg. Brandenburg is going fast in reverse. He shot at me. Shells wouldn't. Got fire on the Brandenburg. <laughs> Sorry. B log fifty five in your chat says if you saw two thousand midgets running at you and you had an AK with unlimited ammo and no reload, what would you do? Um <laughs> No reload? Yeah, no reload. So I, I assume uh, a belt fed um AK with uh, <laughs> with unlimited ammunition. Well, if it's unlimited ammo you wouldn't need to reload, would you? Yeah, yeah. Well, from a fire on the bread. I, I I think think by adding the, the terms there's no need to reload. It just means that there's no no requirement to pause firing. I do I, I, I do feel that um w without further context on, on why the midgets are running at you. Um I find <laughs> I, I find it hard to justify opening fire. That's true. Why would what if they're running towards you to hug you? I'd love to get hugged by 2,000 little guys. That'd be great. 2,000 and, little hugs. And now, and now we all know what Baz's kink is. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Got it all on tape. <laughs> little people are always so happy. Like in Willy Wonka, right? <laughs> oh, I'm going to run out of my smoke screen because I'm not paying attention. Oh, hello. I've got better concealment than the Akatsuki. Can you pick up on radar, Baz? Yeah, uh, just at the edge of radar. Yeah, go, go, go. It's your smoke screen, actually. Oh. They have left my radar range. Okay, I'll just chase them down then. I'm trying to get closer. Yeah, she's running. <laughs> I might just focus on the cap. We're almost done. Oh, there's a, there's a Kirishima on our team. Didn't we know it's that? Huh. I am the Brandenburg. That's dead. That's the Brandenburg. There we go. There we go. They're running at us with knives. Oh, are they gonna? Are they butter knives? Or are they gonna <laughs> butter or bread? Are they cake knives with cake on? But <laughs> oh, even better. Right. Um, oh, you're right. It was a Kirasami. One more. Are you are you all done, Vaz? I think I should call it there. Enjoy. Thanks. Um, yeah. If I go one more, it'd be a little bit too over. Oh no, pleasure, pleasure having you then. Yeah, thanks a lot uh, again for for uh, for having me on. 
We need to. Uh, it's been a while last done done one last. Week. Last time we did one was in July. It was in the summertime. Some sometime it was a good couple of months ago. Mm. So hopefully we can get together uh, sooner I, than that. I think actually I think it was in July because it was um, my last proper drink before I um before oh, I me mean, and the missus went for IVF. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So it was, it was a long time ago. Very long. It feels time, like yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Good three, good three months. We should try and do these about one pa- once a patch if we can. Yeah, we kept, don't we? Yeah, one, the, once a patch would be good. Yeah. Although I think your your work times. We'll, we'll have to work something out, won't we? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Uh, with my wacky schedule. Although it's it's it changes mm. from time to time, so um, you never know. But we'll just uh, play it by ear and keep in touch. Yeah, yeah. As always, as always. Well. <laughs> A pleasure having you, Vaz. Um, obviously, everyone on Vaz's stream, give his stream a thumbs up. People on my stream, go check out Vaz's stream, vice versa, and all that lovely, jubbly stuff. I um, hope you did enjoy it all. Um, do you want do you, yeah. do you, do you any last words, or uh, should I let you sign off? Um, I'll just say uh, thanks uh, to everyone for joining us, and hope you guys uh, had fun chilling and relaxing. If you guys uh, were drinking along with us, or or wherever you were, just at least uh, you could take your mind off uh, any troubles or anything like that and just relax and have some fun. And uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Well, cheers, fans. I'll, uh, I'll switch the office mode and I'll let you go. All right, thanks again, Major. Enjoy the rest of your night. You and, too. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, sure, sure. There we go. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. There we go. Sorry, I have to leave the, the party in the background. Um, but yeah, um, so thank you everyone for um, coming for coming by. I know it's a slightly different um, stream, I guess you could say, compared to what we normally do. But I hope you did enjoy it. Um, Vaz is always... Vaz is the first real person I've done any collaborations with um, and it's um, let me just uh, I need to mute my microphone but I don't know how to do it it'll be fine it'll be fine anyway thank you everyone for popping by um, it's been it's been intriguing um, getting these collaborations set up um, because it does take quite a bit of um, resource I guess you say um, you may not notice it but I have two microphones here um it, it, it just to make sure i can obviously communicate with us and uh, communicate with you chaps i've also i've got three headsets here i've got one one for the game i've got one for my streaming laptop and i've got another one for vaz's stream just make sure all the audio is okay uh, but i hope uh, i hope it all came through loud and clear uh, this time on both sides i'll have to check vaz's stream another time um but yeah i hope you did enjoy it um we could just wondering, we could do a little bit more, but it is getting to about 11 o'clock here in the UK. And obviously, you have to bear in mind, I have had, obviously not large glass of whiskey, but it has definitely taken its toll. So, yeah, I think I think we'll sign off. But much obliged to everyone who has come by. Um, what I'll do is, I will mute the music from there and bring the music through. On the uh, on the loud on the loudspeaker. There we go. Hopefully that's uh, that's a bit more normal, I guess you say for us. But yeah. So thank you everyone for popping by. Um, thumbs up and all that lovely lovely jazz, I guess you say. Let's see. I go for the chat. Um, I'm, I'm, I know that obviously this live stream, being it was a collaboration live stream, the amount of interaction uh, I did with the chat obviously wasn't as. Um, as much as I normally would do, um, most because with a collaboration, you usually spend most of the time chatting with the person you're collaborating with rather than, rather than the chat. But I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has commented in the chat. Uh, and so, therefore, I'd like to say thank you to Admiral Crypt, Jeff Dave, to uh, Mecha Man. I'd also like to say thank you to Sean Whitling, a name that was Eternal. Also, thank you to Melissa Smith. And also, thank you to Zach Branoff as well. Thanks, Socrates Sachs. Good to see you. Uh, who else do we have popped by? 
MTCD. Good to see you. Good to see you. Soul Boy. Much obliged. As if Ahmed. Good to see you. Uh, who else did we have? Uh, yummy pun, uh, pun cake. Good to see you. GG. Don't don't worry. Don't ever take my comments too seriously. Um, I think I remember seeing Action Pumper pop by. So good to see you, sir. And uh, also boats and hose as well. But yeah, um, enjoy your weekend. It's Saturday night here in the UK. It'll be Sunday morning over in the Australias, and it'll be Saturday afternoon, Saturday early evening, I guess you could say, in the Americas. So um, look after yourself. Um, I'm not really sure if we had any spectacular games this this live stream. Anything to to really shout out about? Um, but we will put um, Cossack. 38 on in the background and we'll also do the classic God save the king well, Stay safe stay well look out yourselves Enjoy your weekend until next time. I'm Gav Major and back to the port Thank you to Vaz, thank you to everyone, and Pip Pip and Cheerio, and look after yourselves. And he forgets that I have to move. There we are. Cheerio, cheerio.